Welcome back to Feel Bad Friday, the weekly show where I uh, play through a level in one of my games. This is The Electric Shocktopus. Um, my name is Andy Hall of Test Tube Games. Down here, this guy right here made this game. Uh, and I like to play through a level that players make, because you can see there's a level editor here. And I've got some levels loaded up that people have made. And let's see if I can find the one that I want to do this week. Uh, this is the fourth installment. There's a uh, few levels I've played so far. They've gotten increasingly difficult, so this week I'm going to try to do one that's a little easier. Uh, people in the forums, I think I've played uh, a random players so far, and Neil Krucko, to pronounce it more properly this time, Neil Krucko, in the past. And I'm going to do another one this week by Neil Krucko. Uh, and uh, the last episode took 25 minutes to get through, and you can tell by looking down, perhaps, depending on whether I've decided to make any cuts, how long it's taken this time. Uh, I don't know yet, so let's find out. I'm going to do this uh, straightforward one. 4348 by Neil Krakow. And it is one that he claims is more difficult than... Okay, so I'm just going to... Before... There we go. Pausing at a very <laughs> specific moment. So the name is 43848. Uh, Neil Krakow's titles for the levels are perhaps not the uh, uh, most... Uh, narrative. I think the last one was based on hexadecimals and I think this one is too. So we'll leave it at that. Four, three, four, eight. I won't read too much into it. But as you can tell it's a difficult level. I can switch over to this mode right here where we track the number of deaths we've had. I'm going to go out of limits. This is going to be the highest number of deaths last episode. Something like 47 deaths to make it through. But this one, you actually die right at the beginning, as you can see. So if I do nothing, I just die repeatedly. I'm already up to five deaths. Just trying to get this whole thing set up. Uh, my goal is to make it through with three stars, all three, and then to the exit up there in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, is it possible? Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, so let me get started and die a couple more times. Oh, don't, don't go there. Make it past those first bullets. In the electric shock you use the electric force to get around, among other things. And this level looks like it's just the electric force, so I'm going to repel from some charges, use some electric forces to get around. And I played, oopsies. So we've got the death track right after that. So I've got some quick idea. I played this few, you know, died maybe a dozen times or something like that. Just playing around to see whether it's even possible. I think I can do this level. So I need to get all the stars though, which means I can't do it the easy way. I've got to get up there and I'm never quite... This is where, I think this is the hardest part of this level coming right up here from what I've seen. Whoa, okay. I made it through between there. I flip that switch, the bullets stop. Oh cool, and then I try to fall down. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is going surprisingly well. Now I just need to not die because, like I said, I played for a few minutes before and I've never been able to make it through up there. Now to open up that gate, I need that switch. Bam. Get that. Excellent. <sighs> now I can sneak around. Oof. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, uh, there's a sign in the other side of the screen right up here. And I'm sure it's probably a bad idea to go check it out. But, you know, let me go check it out without, you know, spending all my time and effort over there trying to get that star up the top. Just see what it is. And I go over the top. You can see me kind of up here at the top of the screen. And the only escape is death. So, thank you, Neil Krakow. Actually, I think I saw a random player had written this here. The only escape is death, but I mean, come on now. We've done this before. I can get out of here. And... Nope, I cannot get out of here. I'm not lifting myself up there, but let me jump. Okay, yeah. No, that wasn't good. <laughs> that was like a bonus. Five dies or something. Okay, so here we go. And jump right up here. Just this past week, by the way, I released the updates. So this is an updated version of Electric Shocktopus, so it's got some changes to it. Um, 
you know, bug fixes, things like that, uh, you can now do the same... Oh, Jesus. You can do the same view where you get the deaths in the bottom right-hand corner. Or bottom left-hand corner to see how many you've done. Just press equal sign anytime you're playing the game. It's kind of fun to keep track of that. On a normal level, it can get crazy. But if you're doing something like... Oh, no. If you're doing something like this... Here we go, here we go. I mean, this is the hardest part of this. No, no, this level. And I just need to get past it. Not go die at that side over there. Bam. Actually, I can do it. Now, I've been successful, so... Three, oh no, three out of three times. <laughs> I haven't had to surrender. Uh, but there is a first time for everything. Alright, excellent. Keep it centered. How am I going to keep myself centered? What do I do to keep myself centered? So, uh, in addition to all the bug fixes. Oh my god. I've been uh, speeding up the game a little bit to reduce the lag. So, this is a level I can at least hearten myself with the fact... That sounds like Neil. Oh, Neil Krucko hasn't beaten it either, or has beaten it, but not with all stars at the same time. Uh, Neil's excuse is lag in the game, which okay, I can accept. That's probably my fault, uh, but much of the lag should be kind of reduced. Oh, <laughs> reduced at this point. Especially a level like this, there's a problem with like all these switches. We got what, one, two, three, four different switches, at least. All right, boom. I really feel like I should get a strategy, but I don't want a strategy because I think I can just get this. One, three, four, eight. Thirty-seven deaths. Yes, this is going to. No, no. Probably. No, be the largest number of deaths we had so far. Um, and also, I was peeking at, and I think maybe next week, change it up a little bit, maybe do an older uh, level that people have made. Uh, some of them have some interesting different mechanics. Sometimes they're even based off, like, oh, 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 ah. And if Neil has not beaten this level... I can at least rest assured, after dying a whole bunch of times, that I'll be the first person in the world to have beaten this level. Dun, 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 45 deaths. I can make it. Oh god, how am I going to make it through over there? Alright, change of plans. Okay, that was not part of the change of plans. Alright, so that's going to be tough. And I'd rather not get it and then die. So let me go. I know I don't need that star right now. Of course, I have it. Let me go make sure that I can actually get through the rest of this level. Boom. Up. So I need to go up. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I need to make a little ladder in here. Ah, okay. So, this is kind of working, but I see I'm not going to be able to do this all the way up. Make a little ladder, so as I charge myself, I burn through these crates. As you can tell. Alright, cool. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nice! Alright, so I flipped that switch, opened up that gate... And we'll just power through down here. And figure out how in the heck now to get up here. That seems pretty easy. I just kind of have to levitate and jump. Oh, but goodness. I get behind these guys. Uh, I see it's fool's goal to try to follow it. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. 
Yep, don't even need the electric forces over here. And down, 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 down. I go. Okay, so I've got two of three stars. <sighs> boom, boom, boom. And so now it is time. Won't it be amazing if I get this star last? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's good. 48 tests were one of <laughs> Yeah, I have passed the maximum here. All right. Doing the level backwards. So here we go back to the beginning. Ooh. Do this. Yep, right in the middle, right in the middle, right. Oh, do you believe in miracles? Okay, so just gently, oh so gently, down, right on over, and let's take 48 deaths. Okay, hold on a second before I speak too soon. <laughs> okay, I see up at the top there. The force is going to push me. I follow the lines. It takes me in the direction of the lines whenever possible. I see that if I charge myself up here, I could be in for a shock. No pun intended. All right, and there we go. This is 48 deaths, level uh, 4348. We see up at the top. Nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that part over there trying to get up to the top. Is incredibly difficult uh, at the beginning. It feels a little bit like dumb luck, but I ended up dying enough times that I could have a little bit of that dumb luck. Uh, the other parts I liked, uh, you had to jump behind the guns back there, make, make your way on up, oh, and then build your little bridge uh, through the crates. I love that mechanic. But let me get the exciting happy screen. You gotta be squinting me. Boom, 48 deaths. I don't know the time on that. I don't have watches or clocks but we'll all know looking down at the bottom so thank you for joining me this week on feel bad friday if you've got a level that you'd like to share in the electric octopus share it with us in the forums there's a new version posted up you can find all the details on the website and things like that it's still in beta so we're working out the bugs and i appreciate the help of the people in the forum and uh, who are making the levels finding bugs all that kind of stuff uh and then sharing the levels with me and i can i can play them it's a it's a lot of fun to play through these levels if it could be infuriating in times of this week. Luckily, not that infuriating. I was able to make it. Uh, so thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week on Feel Bad Friday.